We really miss Las Vegas. We really do. I just miss the glitz and the glam and walking down the strip and going to all the casinos, all the glitzy lights. The theming. The shows. I, I love all that stuff. And we also kind of just wanted to dress up and go out somewhere. So we were like, we should go to a casino. We've never been to a casino here in Kansas City. And we want to see if there's anything for us to do there that's not gambling or drinking. Because we're not doing that either right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pretty much going and seeing what's available. We don't know if there's anything available. Like we said, we've never been here. We briefly looked them up on the Google like maps listing. That's Just to see fun. like which one look cool, looks cool. Based on the okay. first four images. Alrighty, Luke, what are you wearing? Let's I see. got my, these are from Tennessee, the, from Rooted. They're from Tennessee, they're Tennessee Titan pants. They're sure. like, uh, I don't know, carpentry, like, double G, double need, I guess is what that's yeah, called. Yeah, double knee. But they're like splatter painted on the bottom and I'm obsessed with them. I got the black vans on. I kind of haven't worn black vans in a while. Yeah. Love me some black vans. I got my tufted belt uh, bag. No, tie can. Tie can bag. Tie can bag, let's and see. And then close a up. close up, yeah, just a very simple bag. Yeah. Uh, and then I have my sweater vest that I got from Japan. Yeah. I'm just wearing this like Zara shirt. Yeah. Right here, you can just film her. Let, let me just take that from here. Sure these are from... Uh, Maybe show me, not the mirror. Yeah. Right? Uh, where are these from? Jeez. These are from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. Very nice pants. Turn around. Show oh, the little strappy strap. I got little straps on the back. I also got this. This is my everyday bag. So the Tycan bag, yeah. I even have a little Lego man, but he lost an arm. Poor guy. Um, nice. Got some dunks. Dunks on. Nike yeah. dunks that you got in Japan. Feeling comfy. Feeling good. Got my Apple Watch. The little necklace on. I got a strap on my phone because I don't ever shoot video on my phone and I always forget. So I can't, if I put it in my pocket, I'll stop filming. We might be able to get away with, get away with taking in like a, a big, big camera, but we're a little bit scared to do that. We kind of want to be incognito. Incognito. And also, when you bring in the big camera, people just start looking at you and it's weird. We don't want to do that. No. We so be incognito. So incognito, got the little strap. It's going to go like this around my, here, I'll just let you see what you'll look like. Chaotic. Like this. Oh my. That's what you look like. Snoop doggy doggy. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe lengthen this this strap a wee uh, bit. I mean, mine was, this just gives you a little more room. We do know that we have to get food because we are starving. Starving, but I so, know that they have food. I mean, I'm sure they, they have, have, food. have food. They have to have food. But we're gonna see if we can find some food we like. I think we're gonna be chosen Maristar. Is what yeah, we're gonna go to. It looked the coolest. It seemed like it had the coolest vibes from the first four pictures. On I know. Google. I know. Bally's just went through a remodel, but their pictures online, I can't tell if it was like remodeled or just kind of jank. So, so if this video goes well, <laughs> we might have to go check that one out too. Yeah. There's there's the Bally's. They have redone it, so it does look a lot nicer oh, than that's cool. the boat facade. I can't really see it too good. Oh no. Right that is cool looking. Here's what we should do, Paul. Go take really good pictures. Oh, we should run cameras. Take really good pictures of the floors and then go upload them to Google because then they get really good ratings. That's not a bad idea. I mean, we can even do it with our cell phones. Just use our skills as yeah. photographers. One thing we didn't mention at the beginning of this video is we actually didn't know how many casinos were in Kansas City. When we like first were like, oh, we should do this. We thought there was like two because we could only <laughs> remember two, but there's like eight. Eight big ones. Eight there's, big ones. There's a few others that are like small, like the one in downtown KCK. The yeah, seven, it's a small one. Of the seven, it's a small one. Um, most of like them, that. when once we were like looking things up, like where to go, and we realized there were so many, we like clicked on their Google listings to see which ones like didn't look that like looked the least sketch. Not that they're sketch, but like we might need to go do a review of all of them. Today we're starting at the Ameristar. We're gonna see where the night takes us, but we're starting at Ameristar because it's. It just looks cool from the picture. From the picture. So we're, we're gonna do that, but then we might have to hit up like the different levels, like the different sizes of casinos. Well, we could totally feel it out. A smaller one. We'll have to see how we feel after this one. Yeah. I'm a little actually nervous. Why? I don't know. There's something about the anonymity of being in Las Vegas where you just walk the floor and there's just so many people. But this feels like, like I have no idea to know if it's gonna be dead. We're gonna be like the only people in the casino and we're not gambling, so it's gonna be obvious that we're just like roaming around with our phones. <laughs> I just, I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm just, I'm, I am I am a little bit like nervously excited to see what we're gonna find and what kind of experiences we're gonna have. Yeah. We really, let me be honest, we really wanted to find a buffet. Wait, there's Harris, is that? Yeah, that's Harris. Cause we passed Bally's and then the Harris and then you've got Ameristar. Ameristar. What the junk, they're all right over here. Yeah, well, and then the Ergacy or whatever is, is yeah, over by side. Parkville, yeah. Oh. Those are the big ones, those are like the four major ones. Welcome to Ameristar. Welcome, 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 welcome to Ameristar, Kansas City's biggest gaming floor. We're not here for the games, we're here for the food. You got food? You got some food? 
you know, was it Andy that was telling us that this had really good food? Oh, look at it. It's like all the restaurants. Casey Chap Chap has the burger, the burger joint. Good. Yeah. Uh, oh, some Mexican, if we're feeling like some Mexican food. Some, some tacos. Did I see that there was a pizza place here, too? Uh, I think that's what he was talking about. Oh, okay. The pizza place. Amerisa, a train! Oh, I love a train. I do love a good train. Uh, I'm uh, train. Feel it out. Because I don't feel, feel very fancy. Yeah. With my little <laughs> with my little uh, sweater vest with no shirt on underneath. Um, this Where's is my park? Uh, just in the parking lot. Also, I appreciate the fits. Fit check! Yeah, the Jasmine. A jump that Jasmine would be proud of. Maristar. It's like having a photo contest. <laughs> Busy place. Oh, this is so cool. This is giving Caesar's Palace vibes. Like no, the mall. I know, but it's also giving New York, New York. Okay, the train is a vibe though. The train depot. Looks closed or dead or just slow. We're just looking at all the restaurants are like right here. Is all the food closed? There's no one to... Oh. The, the American Sports Brew Pub is open, looks like. Oh, okay. Casey okay. Chop House might be open. Casey Chop House. Closed. There's nobody there's here. No one here. Yes. There's people gambling, but there's not like... like there's Actually, people on the floor, but there's not people... There's like nobody here. <laughs> we maybe can find the sports pub. I want to find the pizza place. If the pizza place is open, The pizza looks pretty lame, so we got the burger joint instead. We chose that over the sports bar. Plus, it's like overstimulated, so I had to make yeah. the decision. It was like, uh, no, we're gonna go here, we're gonna get this. I was like, fine. Are you over hungry and nothing? Not that nothing sounded good. It was good. I got the the burger chili cheese. Paul got the spicy chicken, so I have to try eat chili. Yeah. And then we both got the peanut butter brownie milkshake. Luke wanted me to order a different milkshake, so he asked me what milkshake do you want. And I was like not thinking about milkshakes, so I just panicked and I ordered the same thing he got. Well, look, wanted me to order the eye opener, opener. But I, it's got caramel and coffee in it. Which sounds delicious, but like on the spot, I wasn't even thinking. And I didn't order it. <laughs> My favorite though is that Paul sometimes get overstimulated by things <laughs> and then just completely freeze. He has no idea what to do. I literally will. I'll like, not even freeze. It's specifically like, my brain is just kind of like, overstimulated. So I was like, not focusing very well after we, after we eat, I think we have to go into the kitchen. I have to figure out how to get into the casino. You literally have to walk in, show them your ID, and you walk in. Oh, I thought you, have, you don't have to get a card or anything. I don't think so. You're in Vegas. Is it Vegas weird? Vegas? It's Las Vegas? Vegas, A. Vegas. 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 I was thinking Vegas. Vegas. This man. Vegas. <laughs> On a scale of one, one to vibes, are, are you thinking, uh, what are the vibes in here? I wish there was more people. That's kind of the vibe. Uh, but I think the vibes are here. It just seems dead. Like, none of the restaurants are really open. The floor is kind of the main thing that's open. And then there's like no shows going on. It's a Sunday night, so I get that. It wouldn't necessarily be a busy night, I guess. But it definitely doesn't have the same like buzz that Las Vegas has. It, but it does have like, it has vibes. I really like like the, the setting and the theming that they have here is good. Yeah. But I just don't feel like yeah, like I love the train depot stuff at the yeah. entrance. It's so freaking cool. I so didn't drink. Like, I would have gotten out something verge like, just to go in there. I know. But it's a private event. With it. They have a private event in the train station, so like, whatever. Whatever. But honestly, a uh, vibe. I think it's unfair to compare it to Las Vegas. Like, it's just, it's not, not fair. Um, but it is filling the void of the vibes that I was looking for, I will say. It does have the right smell. That cigarette. With like, cleaner. like they're trying to pump cleaner over top of it to like cover it up. Like yeah, it's like, the fragrance, it's like, like a corporate fragrance <laughs> on top of the cigarette stuff. Could uh, be worse, could be worse. It kind of fills the vibe, you know? I, their branding is pretty fire. I know. You should probably pose for a picture for the Google listing. <laughs> Alright, look what you get. I got a um, delicious little chili cheese burger. But I didn't realize it, I guess it makes sense that it would come in a little bowl like this, but look at this! Ooh. That's kind of a vibe! It's kind of oh, a vibe. Nice. Yeah. I got a uh, chicken sandwich, a spicy chicken sandwich. We both wanted a spicy chicken sandwich, but um, we couldn't both get the same thing. Same plan with the shakes, but 
A Paul Panics. Yeah, I Panics. Oh, that looks so good. It's got like a like a spicy sauce and like a coleslaw. Delicious. Um, also, all of this came out to forty with the tip. Yeah, forty dollars with the tip. So. Those got some heat to it. It's a pretty classic, but tasty peanut shit. But if you get to the bottom, that's a little brownie bun. Brownie crunchies are my favorite part. <laughs> I'm sad because all my crunchies are gone. Honestly, of that whole meal. Of our meal, the milkshake was by far the best part. The burger, the chili burger was just weird. I don't know, this is a little weird. Not my, my favorite. My spicy chicken sandwich was so good. How would we rate the food selection? Ameristar Casino. I know you're all on the edge of your seats to discover this. I'd have to give it probably a 3 out of 10. And the only reason is only 3 out of the 10 restaurants are open. <laughs> Pretty nice bathroom. I think we need to go check out the floor and see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just bought a carnival. <laughs> I just wanted to go on the escalator. I, I did. I really just wanted to go on the escalator. It's big. It's like way bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, when we first walked in, Luke was doing a shot and I saw a jackpot carnival. I don't know what it is. We're gonna walk over and go find it. Let's take a picture for the- For, for Google. Google. Yeah, but we also wanted to go over here to the jackpot carnival. Oh, we did need to check out the jackpot carnival. Yeah, yeah. It's like Grand Carnival at World of Hunt. Here <laughs> in Kansas City. Why did you have to say it like that? Carnival. Yeah, Grand Carnival. Carnival. Oh, look, a non-smoking section. Non-smoking section. Here for the Jaguar Carnival. <laughs> <gasps> these are, Luke, these are the vintage like, oh, they're still tickets, but they like, they're like the vintage like coin slots. This is our favorite spot right here to get photos for the casino. Well, it like really shows the vastness of the casino. I think it shows like good vibes. It's, it's also very large. I like it. did not expect it to be this big. I don't know why I didn't think it'd be this big, but okay. So me and Kevin, we were at like a concert. Luke and Mariah had like VIP tickets, so they went in early, and we had nothing to do in St. Louis. It's like so far away from anything other than a casino. So me and Kevin went and walked around this casino, and I got coffee at that place, and it was disgusting. But it's like at the this like self service station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a self service station. And I wasn't gambling, I just was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> so sorry. Oh, really? You didn't like my story. That was very interesting. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Science of fiction. Really? Advertising for things that aren't open. But you're closed. Oh, we could have come here to eat our to eat our dinner. This would have been a vibe. Let me get another photo here. Really? Holy cow! There's a whole other side to this place, like parallel to the other side. It's huge. That was our experience at Ameristar. We walked the floor, saw the little slots, we ate some food. I feel like my stomach's going to explode, so we're gonna leave. <laughs> Diarrhea? <laughs> Quite possibly, actually. <laughs> that shake hit hard on the I stomach. Don't, I love milkshakes. Well, my body don't love milkshakes. <laughs> I love milkshakes, but they don't love me. I hope you enjoyed this experience of coming to a casino with us just to get food and walk the floor. And take some photos. Listen, I think we got some really good photos for the Google listing. I wish we had actual cameras though. I yeah, know. When we got to doing it, I was like, ooh. It would be fun to have like an actual like, even a two, uh, like well, a 16 to 35 or even like a... 70 to 200 or something. Yeah. Would be fun. Either way, this this part of the whole casino is my favorite part. This little train, train depot. Depot, yeah. Apparently there's a bakery over there that's closed right now, but... The Falcon Room? Or yeah, that right over there. The Falcon Room is a bakery. It says right here, oh. the Falcon Room Bakery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, wonder Which, why it's open. Maybe it's just mornings. Probably, it's probably only open in the morning. One problem I have with this experience that we've had tonight is that, like, while great, like 
a casino is here to be a gambling floor. Sure. Okay. But the fact that that's like the only thing that was open in like three restaurants, it just doesn't like the reason we came here is because we were like, there's got to be other stuff going on. Like there is or in Vegas. Like more hype. There, yeah. There was no, not that they need to have a show, not that they need to have other stuff going on, but I do think it would be beneficial to their like cash flow. They had more stuff to do. And again, it's Sunday night. I don't know if that's a slow night. I don't know all the stats for a casino. It's a beautiful space, but it's dead because there's nothing to do other than, other the than floor. gamble. And the floor is actually decently busy, but that like, and not even that though. I mean, really, it's not. Everything else around was just kind of like dead, and it's a huge space. Yeah, there. it's very know. cool. I was just kind of like, mm. we weren't there for very long. I mean, it's still light out. Yeah, and it was just kind of like, okay. okay. Because we don't gamble. If we gambled, it'd be different. Like, yeah. I don't want to spend my money like that. I know. I don't want I'd to. rather go buy another milkshake. I know, true. Actually, my body would not like that. <laughs> no, um, no. But anyway, that was our night out. We got dressed up, which was fun. Yeah. And we enjoyed our food. Our, the, and we got to go try something new. We yeah. We got to go see a new place in Kansas City. We were going to go maybe, we thought about going over to Bally's, but we were like, my stomach is like, no, you can't. You're going to go home. <laughs> you're going to go home. I said, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you in the... In the <laughs> we'll see you in another video real soon. Bye, don't I care, bye. <laughs> A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.